Hello everyone, in this lesson, we will talk about the partial and complete digital amputation. So what do you understand about digit amputation? A complete digit amputation is the total removal of a body part with the separation of all structures, while in a partial digit amputation, a partial detachment of a body part occurs where the blood vessels are separated but soft tissue connections like skin, tendon or muscle remain. Digital amputation is a common injury seen in most orthopedic centers around the world. For incidence and prevalence, amputation injuries account for approximately 1% of all trauma-related injuries that present to the emergency department, with finger amputations being the most common types of injuries. Partial digit amputations are most common, but complete digit amputations, however, are less common, with the majority of injuries occurring at home. Its incidence is higher in adults, with men greater than women, approximately 4 to 1, and in children with approximately 3 to 1 adult to child ratio. From 1997 to 2016, a total of 464,000 people had their fingers amputated in the United States with a yearly incidence of 7.5 per 100,000 person years. However, there is no data on the prevalence or incidence rate of digital amputations was found for Malaysia. Moving on to the etiology, digit amputations are often associated with occupational hazards but they can also occur during recreational activities. Traumatic incident is the most common cause following vascular disease, melanin tumor and infection. Now let's take a look at traumatic incident. Traumatic incidents such as crush injury that result high compression forces to the tissue, laceration and avulsion may result to the amputation. This kind of incident may due to the machine injuries in the industry as well as car accident. For vascular disease, ischemia and gangrene may also result to digit amputation due to the insufficient of oxygenated blood flow to the digital tissue. Next is malignant tumor. Amputation is needed when the tumor has spread into the surrounding tissues. For the cause of infection, bacterial infections that occur may lead to sepsis that causes excessive blood clotting which may require an amputation to the finger. Clinical features of digital amputation First, is hooked male deformity. It's lead to discomfort or even pain. Next, is skin tenderness at the amputated digit. After that is phantom pain. Patient will feel the presence of the amputated finger even if it's no longer there. Other than that, stiffness and also numbness is also one of the clinical features of digital amputation. Before we go to the pathophysiology of digital amputation, we must know what is ischemic tolerance. Ischemic tolerance is a phenomenon that occurs when a preconditioning subtitle insult induces protection against a subsequent severe ischemic insult, represent an intrinsic mechanism, in which sign learns to tolerate a stressful environment. Pathophysiology of digital amputation Ischemic tolerance periods after a finger amputation are typically 12 hours if warm and up to 24 hours if cold. These periods are cut in half for more proximal amputations. The amputated limb should be soaked in silly soap gel, sealed in a plastic bag, and immersed in freezing water with no direct contact with ice. If the amputated portion comes into direct contact with the ice, tissue damage may occur, resulting in the amputated section non viable. Due to the presence of muscle tissue, which might experience permanent alteration after 6 hours of ischemia, more proximal amputation are less tolerant to ischemia. Moving on, we will talk about management. The first type is conservative. The first one is antibiotics. Antibiotics are often used as a preventive measure in immunocompromised patients and those with infected wounds. Next, local irrigation and deployment. Fingertip injuries should be properly treated with copious volumes of normal saline and any non-viable soft tissue should be debated to avoid future infections. The next one is dressing. Clinical follow-up and serial dressing changes are sufficient for small superficial uncontaminated pulp injuries without bone exposure. The last conservative treatment is Tetanus injection. This injection can protect against the bacterial infection tetanus, which may cause muscle spasm and can lead to death. In Malaysia, giving tetanus vaccination to amputated patients is not common. However, it will be given to amputated patients with tetanus-prone wounds such as wounds with extensive tissue damage and wounds obviously contaminated with soil. The second type of management is surgical. First, let's look into the partial digital amputation. The first one is nail bed repair. Simple lacerations affecting the sterile matrix or nail phones in adults may be treated in the emergency department using absorbable suches. The next one is soft tissue coverage, terminal pop V1 flaps. Patients with large and volar oblique injuries, exposed bone and associated distal phalanx fractures will often require flap coverage. 
The wound's distal edge forms the triangular flap whose apex extends to the DIP joint crease. To prevent neurovascular injury, the skin and subcutaneous tissue are carefully dissected and the flap edges are loosely sachet. Now, we move on to Thena H flap, generally used for injuries to the second and third digits. It may be used to treat volar oblique injuries and require 10 to 14 days of post-procedure immobilization. The proximal flap is sutured to the fingertip and the distal flap is sutured to the proximal margin of the defect on the volar side of the injured finger. After two weeks of soft dressing, the flap is detached. Lastly, revision tip amputation. Digits amputated in zone 2, proximal to the insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis, are generally not replanted because of the risk of subsequently developing stiffness, which can interfere with hand function, which indeed is high. Now let's go to the surgical treatment of complete digital amputation. Replantation. The amputated part is surgically reattached to the residual limb. Replantation may be considered in cases of fingertip amputation if normal architecture is preserved. However, the amputated fingertips should fulfill the criteria stated previously in the battle physiology to ensure a successful replantation. Is the complication of partial and complete digital amputation? The first complication is neuroma. Neuroma is a disorganized wound of the nerve tissue at the amputated digit. Next, hypersensitivity. Since fingertips has high concentration of sensory receptor, patient may have hot and cold intolerance. Next, delay wound healing. Delay wound healing caused by inappropriate debridement of devitalized tissue and more commonly closure with excessive tension. Lastly, is infection. The infected part may feel pain, swelling, and also redness near the infected part. And now we are going into the impairment and functional limitation according to ICF. I'm going to tell you guys about the body structure or the impairment, the activities which is limitation and lastly participation which is the restriction. The impairment that the client will have is phantom pain, hypersensitivity, reduced muscle strength and fine motor skills and lastly reduced hands, dexterity and hand prehension. Now we are going into the limitations. If the client have all of those impairment, they might cannot practice their fine motor skills such as writing and using a scissor. They also can't dairy their routine activity like self-care. They're also having a hard time in dressing oneself such as buttoning a shirt. And lastly, they also can have a hard time to socialize with people. Lastly, for the restrictions. If the client have all of those impairment, they might also can't perform their daily activity perfectly and also often feel dissatisfied with the results. Next, they might also affecting their quality of work as the patient can't work normally because of their decreasing in muscle strength and fine motor skills. Lastly, they might also affect thing their social like quality of their social participation as the patient is in shape with their flaws. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day everyone.